Oh my peoples, what's up? Welcome back to the One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Jason and I'm here to show you It's a Wonderful World with two expansions. The Corruption and Ascension expansion, uh, which adds a sixth and seventh player, which will not factor into this current playthrough. This will be a solo playthrough. Um, the other expansion is uh, War or Peace, which is the campaign expansion. Uh, has uh, up to six envelopes in the box and you're going to be playing uh, mission after mission until you go through all six of those envelopes. So um, I'm going to be spoiling the first mission. Um, I'm not going to be spoiling anything after that, just the first mission uh, so that I can demonstrate the game. I could demonstrate both uh, the deck, the extra deck from the Corruption and Ascension pack and also the first mission, uh, how it wrinkles up gameplay. So uh, if you like what you see, then please go ahead, like uh, this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, One Stop Co-op Shop, go visit us on Discord. Uh, there's a link to join our Discord community. We have live streams on Twitch. Uh, we have another uh, sister YouTube channel where we have all of our live plays. Uh, we have all sorts of stuff going on in the One Stop Co-op Shop. And as of um, pretty soon, uh, when after this um, show drops, uh, we have a merch store, so you can go ahead and buy some t-shirts and mugs, mouse pads, all that good stuff. Uh, One Stop Co-op Shop is growing, and it is all thanks to every single person who has subscribed to the channel, watches our videos. Thank you so, so much. So let me go ahead and describe the two expansions, set up a game, and play Mission 1 of It's a Wonderful World, War or Peace. All right, so here we are with the base game laid out, as well as the Corruption and Ascension expansion. So uh, one of the things it gives you is materials for six and seven players. So you now have seven empires, including two new ones, uh, the Hegemony of the North and the Nations of Oceania. They basically do the same thing. And like the other, the B-sides are basically exactly the same as in the base game. Nothing too exciting there. Um, extra components including this increased scoring uh, because the scores will go up. <laughs> I'll show you why in just a second. So here are, or here is the base game deck and here is the corruption and expansion deck. Cards basically look and work exactly the same, but as you can see, uh, there's way more cards in this one than there are in this one. Uh, when you draft, you are gonna draft basically like double. So like if you, uh, have a draft of six cards, you'll draft them like, you know, four and two. If you have a draft, you know, draft them like, you know, uh, eight and four, that kind of thing. Uh, so you will always be able to have play with these cards on every round. You just have fewer of them. Okay, so what do these cards look like? Let me go ahead and lay out an Empire card just to illustrate. Uh, first things first, uh, you have Corruption. So this is production, it's pretty easy to understand. So you produce whatever it is and you, you actually X out a production of whatever is pictured here. Uh, if you don't have any of that production, then that works out pretty sweet for you. You get this bonus and you're not penalized. So, but if you do start producing, in this case, green, then it, it'll X out one of that production. Uh, second thing is these guys, look at that. Super production, yes! They cost a little bit more but they give you a little bit more. <laughs> One of the ways in which the scores are going to increase uh, and gems are gonna be start flying all over the place. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. So then let's go ahead, I pretend that I build those as well. Uh, another card that you're gonna get, um, which coordinates with what I've laid out, are the duo scoring cards. So as you build cards, you are going to get um, this scoring condition that procs off of pairs. They don't have to be adjacent, but they have to be paired. So like this one says one industrial and one war. So one gray and one black uh, pair will get you six points and then it uh, multiply. So if I play this card, I'm gonna want pairs of these two. So let's go ahead and say I built that right over there. Uh, and then the last one, and this is what you're here for, right? Super points, yes! 25 points, highest scoring point card in the game. Uh, it doesn't produce anything, just goes for the points. Uh, so as you can see, once you start getting into 25-point territory, you know you're going to be scoring extra in Corruption and Extension. 
you know. All right, so this is the totality of what you're getting in It's a Wonderful World. Uh, so this is the top of the box right there, and here's what is inside. Ooh, you have some envelopes. Uh, each envelope represents a mission. The mission, uh, so they provide you with six uh, overall missions uh, to complete over the course of a campaign, and also a secret box. Uh, there is, in addition, a pack of cards that you open at the end of the campaign, but I'm not showing you that because I already won it. <laughs> I know what's in that pack. You can go ahead and enjoy that. All right, so we are just about ready. Let's do some quick setup for the first mission of War or Peace expansion to its wonderful world. So what I've done is I have split the decks off into uh, four separate piles for the four rounds. In the uh, base game, you would pick five cards from the original base game like that. Uh, here you would here you pick three cards from the base and two from the expansion. You play these, uh, another five. You play those, uh, do a production round, and then uh, proceed through the other uh, three decks. Ten years ago, the Great Wars ended, leaving in their wake millions of victims over the six continents. On the ruins of the old world, the new empires have prospered. As a new decade begins, all the world's powers have decided to launch the Pax Ten project. This great joint project aims to create a global organization for peace in order to guarantee the world stability and prosperity. So here is my chosen faction. The hegemony of the North is actually expansion faction. Uh, keys off on war. <laughs> uh, so you use, so the rules, date, um, they say that you specifically use the A side for the start. And what is the Pax-10 project? Well. It is a card. I have chosen the one player version. There are that there is a, a version for higher player counts. So you will um, in the recycle phase, uh, when you draft a card, you can choose to um, use its recycle bonus to put a, a, a resource here, get this conversion and progress the common goal of the PAX initiative. So I'm gonna leave that right over there. I think we're ready to begin. All right, so I'm zoomed in uh, nice and tight and I'm ready to rock. All right, so uh, as I showed you before, I have two corruption cards and three uh, regular cards and let's see what I got. Okay, all right, see, I uh, like this already. Um, that was that was nice. Uh, so I would definitely want to get that down and I definitely want to get, uh, wow, <laughs> I have a lot that I want to get down. Hopefully I can uh, generate some actual resources. Uh, so, uh, please keep in mind that I am using this card. I should probably put that somewhere in the play area, uh, right down here. So, uh, yeah, we actually, we could put that over here a little bit closer. Uh, basically all this says is, you know, I can discard some of these cards and generate some alternate resources, fill that up. I definitely want to fill that up. Uh, but I have some real, uh, good stuff going on over here. So... The problem is I'm not generating a lot of gray, which is an unfortunate thing. So okay, let me go ahead and discard this guy right over there. I'm going to recycle this thing for its blue. The blue I'll actually put on this guy over here. I'm definitely going to want to uh, get this going as soon as humanly possible. Didn't really get the cards for it uh, now. Uh, I am... Uh, generating a lot of black um and this one's just points i think i'm gonna have to chuck this one too uh let's go ahead and chuck those yep i want to make sure they're in the right uh pile uh get some black over there and this one uh so this is where uh the common card benefits me i can chuck the yellow that it generates over here for a gray, which is exactly what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and chuck that, put the yellow over here, and put the gray on that guy. All right, so now I'm going to do my second phase of round one. Okay, I'm definitely going to want to uh, do that. Okay, so I got two corruption cards. You see I have two cards that will eliminate ye uh, yellow production. I'm not too worried about that actually i'm going for this i'm going to uh, do some yellow production over here but uh, i could probably x that out <laughs> if i wanted to get these going the problem is i just don't have a lot of gray going for me uh so i might have to just get rid of these just for the grays 
but I am definitely going to do that. Yep, uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to chuck these two for their grays. Uh, okay, uh, so as soon as I complete that, actually, you know what? No, not there. It's going to go there because I want these grays. So then I'm going to get that going right there. I am now producing grays. Uh, which is really nice because I'm gonna I'm, be, I'm going for that, and yeah, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> that, that's definitely gonna be built. Uh, leaves me with a yellow over here, which is not a great thing. Uh, whew, yeah, yeah, that's not a great thing at all. Uh, I'm probably just gonna have to chuck that for a, a uh, one of those things, which is a really, really terrible move. I already used the yellow uh, converter over there and I can't use that again. So, oh well, that's just what's gonna have to happen. All right, well, let me get to my production phase. All right, so I've shifted the camera around a little bit, got into my production phase. So uh, got these two um, gray over here. I'm gonna put those right there uh, and that is gonna cash out. That's the probably my favorite part of the game is like uh, cashing things out, especially the gray, getting stuff, uh, setting the production up and then getting taking advantage of the production to go on to the next thing. Uh, love that. So let's see, we got uh, producing four bl uh, black, and I happen to have a space for those four black. Nice home for them right there. Hopefully I get some more war cards uh, so I can take advantage of this black with all this black production. Uh, and another yellow production, which, oh, oh well. <laughs> uh, my Crystallium factory. Um, so I think that is all of my production. Let's go on to round two. All right, we're now on to round two. I got my hand of cards and I like what I'm seeing. Uh, I like what I see, I really do, because I got some black cards um, that will be very useful to help me like kind of provide a home for all the black that I'm producing. And I want to produce more black, no question about it. Huh, I also got this corruption guy over here, but I'm not producing any green. Uh, this I think this will be a perfect card to put down because I don't plan on producing a lot of green uh, in this game. So it doesn't do anything if I have zero production. So that's a nice thing. Uh, this guy, <laughs> uh, this is uh, begging to be discarded if um, I ever saw one. However, it's giving me yellow. <sighs> uh, I have so many, so little, such little... Uh, use for yellow right now, so I'm not happy with it. I'm I'm pretty confident in my black production. I don't think I need to discard this for a black. So I'm gonna take these two cards and chuck them. Uh, so I can either go five deep in this pile and see what I got, or three deep in this pile and see what I got. Um, generally, these have the higher point scoring um, th uh, cards. But this one gives you more flexibility. And I think in the second round, I'm going to go for the flexibility and see what I get. Okay, lots of gray. I do like gray. And this one would get me to five production very, very easily. Uh, five black production, which would start generating these things, which are points. I think I'm going to want to do that. So let's go ahead and plant that right there. Everything else goes in the discard. Ah, uh, okay, so now the interminable yellow, which I continue to have nothing to do with, and uh, this guy over here. I know I still have the PAX um, thing to deal with, but I'm not too, um, I'm not too, too worried about that. So, uh, and yeah, you know what, I'm going to place that over here. So that already gives me, well, I'm sorry, one, so I would have one, two, three, and then one, two, three for that guy for 18 points. So this thing is gonna be my, a serious point engine. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know what? So um, I can't chuck this for any, I have no useful spot for it. Uh, the only thing I could do is chuck it as a single card to put a crystallum here. But um, if I put it here in my draft area, then I can chuck it at any time and put it over here, so it doesn't even matter. So if I happen to have a bonanza of gray or something like that, then I can just take care of this. I'm just gonna hold on to this for now, uh, and then you know go into my production phase. 
after I grab my next set of cards. Okay. I am getting a lot. <laughs> a lot! Oh, wow! This is excellent! Okay, so these are the corruption cards. This is where the game can really uh, take off. So, like, I'm getting... I would be getting two... Uh, yeah, that would be cool. So, I, I am getting two this turn. And when I complete it, I will get two Crystallum. I'm not making any green whatsoever. So, this is just pure win for me. Uh, all right. So, that is probably... Probably happening. Let's put those... I'm, uh, I have to make a little bit of room over here. Let's make a little bit of room. Why did I only leave myself six slots? They'll make no sense. All right. So those are definitely going to get filled. I wouldn't too worry about those too much. Uh, okay. So I'm already making that, and I don't have a ton of use for blue. Uh, do I have enough catches for my black? Yes, I do. I shouldn't be, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, and then green, greens I don't have too much use for. This is definitely discard fodder. Uh, if I discard this for green, that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to discard this for green. I'm going to uh, discard that to the Pax card and get a black. The black is going to go on there. Hmm. I'm going to generate five black in my turn because I'm going to hit this. That'll be one, two, three, four spaces. I, and one wasted black would not be the end of the world unless I want to place one of these. Uh, this one's cheap enough. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, so I'm going to chuck this guy. I'm going to chuck it for the green. Get green going over here. And then I'm going to place this because I feel like I'm going to... I have a lot of black production coming. So... Um, uh, a couple of these just kind of uh, floating around and then this one animating it on point. Hopefully I get another card that helps me too. So let us, you know what? I'm not gonna use that, <laughs> get out of here. Uh, so that's gone. I'm just gonna you put that in the Crystallum. All right, let's do some production. All right, so I'm back at the production window. I flopped around some of these cards just to make it easier what's gonna get filled up and what's not. So I got two gray coming. Those two gray are actually going to come over here. Uh, they are going to get immediately returned. I'm going to put that back. The reason I did that, I could have uh, done these two and got two crystalline, but that's going to be there. Uh, and I think I can fire that off before production phase in the third round. The reason I did that is because I wanted to fire off the five, and that gets me an extra point. Uh, so I think that is all for that. Let's go ahead, move that over and fulfill five, one, two. Move that, three, four, and five. I have produced five, um, I don't know what they call the black, <laughs> war stuff. Uh, producing five in the solo gets you a point. That's gonna, I like that over there. Okay, uh, more yellow. I continue to have no use for yellow production at all. So we're just gonna stick that <laughs> on there. That will eventually become one crystallum. And I'm gonna have a couple of crystallum coming when I finish that. All right, on to on three. So I am very well aware that I'm not really paying too much attention to this. Uh, quite frankly, hasn't the conversions aren't that amazing for me, but hopeful that I can kind of knock those out uh, without too much problem. All right, so this is a super producer. I I, I really dig this card. Look at that, all that card. Uh, although it prevents me from producing a gray. I need to produce gray, so I'm probably just going to chuck it. Uh, this one, I have no hope. <laughs> Not even hoping uh, God's Green Earth for fixing that one. Uh, I like 10 points. Uh, so, yeah, 10 points is okay. I'm gonna start producing blue. Um, it's a lot of cards that, I, that don't really match up with like my white black thing going on, uh, but whatever. Uh, can have everything. All right. So uh, first of all, I'm definitely gonna chuck that one. Uh, it is a corruption card. Uh, obviously, it's a corruption card because uh, there you go. Look at that. It has corruption right there, and that will finish this guy. Put that there. Not producing any green, and I get one crystallum. Right there. OK, 
Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, uh, this is a black, I'm going to uh, recycle it. Uh, that is going to go into the PAX uh, general area. That gets me a green. That green, I have a slot for that uh, in my big scoring card that I'm working on right there. Uh, so I'm getting pretty close to that. Uh, my worry is I don't have a lot of house, a lot of places to uh, put the black cubes that I'm generating. I don't like that, so I'm hopeful that... Uh, uh, what I might do is I might search this deck because some higher point scoring cards in here and I want to see if I can get a black card from there. But let's keep on uh, looking at what I got. Um, let's see. As I have established, yellow is basically useless to me. So I'm actually going to take these two, uh, one from each deck. And just for uh, the giggles of it, I am going to pull from the Corruption and Ascension deck. And let's see if I get a black card to keep. Ooh. Eh. <laughs> it's not, not tremendously wonderful. Um, this would not be terrible because I'm getting a lot of black cards. And if I start to pile up on the financiers, but I don't really have ways to get financiers, not generating a lot of gray, definitely not generating a lot of yellow. I could if I wanted to, but I, that's not really going to work out for me. Not a lot of green, so that's not, I don't think that's a uh, uh, too much of a fit for me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to just go with this one. Uh, it, and yet again, uh, green, which I'm not producing at all. I'm just going to put that right there and chuck those. That was not excellent. Uh, wasn't very happy with that, but what are you going to do? That's the game. Uh, and then the last one, I do have a green to place. So I have an empty slot there for green, so I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Right there. I could put this crystallum here, but I, I have one there to put there, but I can wait. Uh, it's specific, the rulebook specifically says I can, put, I can place crystallum at any point. So let's go ahead and grab uh, round three. Okay. All right. Uh, it's another one of them super producer cards from the expansion. There you go. Uh, so two expansion cards and then some basic stuff over here. Uh, do I really want to produce more black? Hmm. I already have a lot. I have four of these things. Oh, I have five coming. Well, I, you know what? There is a lot of uh, cards that I don't really, <laughs> don't really want to do anything with them. No! Okay. Uh, the only reason I would put this one down is to house all the black that I'm going to get. And it would house a yellow. Which, uh, eh, you know what? Just for the sake of having a lot of black to put, I am actually am going to play this. It's going to generate the resources that I can't use, but resources that I can't use are crystallum, so I'm not really too upset about that. What I am upset about is I'm not getting gray. <laughs> I need a lot of gray and I'm only producing uh, three at this point and I really want to get this going uh, for at least the four so I can kind of like dot some of this off and get uh, some of that going. I do need this. I do need this. I'm, I'm probably, I do have the escape valve of using Christ the Crystallum so that happens anytime I would get it back uh, but I'd rather kind of like pull for it. Uh, two green, don't have a place for two green, so I'm just going to chuck these two there. Definitely going to pull from the uh, lesser pile. I want to see if I get, I did not get a way to generate a, <laughs> a cube, a um, great cube. Hmm. Boy, there is not much going on. Although I could place this uh, and fill it pretty easily too. Actually, I already have, hmm, I'm generating five cubes. Uh, if I play a certain way, I could generate up to eight cubes. So placing this would not be the end of the world. Um, None of this other stuff helps. <laughs> not one, not a little, not even a little bit of it. Uh, oh well, let's try to let's just do that. Uh, this will definitely collapse and consolidate uh, pretty uh, fairly quickly. 
Uh, this is the rest of my hand. I really dislike doing that again. Uh, that just seems like really, really um, not an effective way to use resources at all. Oh, wait, I placed this. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just discard that for the cube. Okay. Put that there. And I will discard that also for the cube. And that will actually net me, that, that would be my fifth. Uh, yellow, which would net me a crystallum. Uh, crystallum again, I could place those at any point. Um, so that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that for this. Just because I want to get that going. Uh, get it back. And then I'll produce an extra um, gray this turn. All right, so I generate four grays and this is going to be a little bit fun. Uh, so I get one, two, three, four. That's going to be one, two, three. And let's just run the table up here. <laughs> let's just run the table up here. Four. Great. So uh, all that war that I'm working on, all those points that I'm working on, here we go. So then... So I have no points in the cards. Basically, I'm relying on this car, uh, this card up here. Let me go ahead and push that in the frame. I uh, rely on this card for a lot of points. And I'm relying on something else coming out of here that would also uh, give me some points. So uh, I probably could have placed one of those blues as well. But hey, what are you going to do? Uh, I, that that's probably going to cost me the game. Actually, not being able to like placing, knowing I was going to get these blue uh, blue generated, but not being able to place them anywhere. So that's probably going to cost me. Oh, well, <laughs> that's what happens when you play a throw playthrough. Uh, so that is my uh, gray production. Uh, let me get to my black production. Black production is one, two, three, four, five. Once again, that gets me a this guy right here. Did not hit the black, the, the, the five of the gray, which, which makes me sad. Uh, okay, so then that's one, two, which is fills that condition right there three more gray or three more black three four five right there okay uh all right so uh that gets to be through the black production uh i have no green a matter of fact i've sold no green <laughs> i have negative four green <laughs> how did that happen uh, yellow, I do have some production, so I have one, two, exactly three. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, so that is worth a whopping one point. Oh, baby. Uh, man, I should have <laughs> really kept the blue card. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, man. See, uh, something like this, I probably should have kept instead of discarding, because uh, then I would have just filled this up and uh, gotten one point per one of these things. I think it cost myself at least three points, perhaps more. Uh, we'll see if that matters in the final tally, because three points is not, nah, not a huge amount of points, but it definitely uh, will help, uh, as opposed to just kind of laying uh, landing on this thing. Okay, uh, so that was the yellow that's gonna get produced, and now let's produce some blue. Blue uh, does that. Oh, wow, wow, would have cost me, would have potentially gotten me even more. Because I produce five, and they're all going to go. Actually, I produce six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get a crystallum and a blue. Wow. Uh, let's see if that potentially five points would have uh, lost me the 50 that I need. Uh, but as it is, we're going on to the final round. All right, I've collapsed the screen a little bit. Uh, on to the final round. I still need to discard uh, Recycle for a gray and a blue. We'll see if I actually get make that happen. I still have a whole bunch of other stuff too. I need to find a way to uh, a depository for this blue, a depository for this yellow that trans, uh, translated the points for me. I'm at least happy that I have uh, did a pretty good job nailing that. Okay, ooh, <laughs> wow. That's excellent. This might be a problem to get, uh, but <laughs> it's a, it would be two points per factory, and I have a ton of factory. So I need to find a way 
I will get, uh, okay, I need to find a way to generate two generals. I'll generate at least one general by um, producing five of these. Uh, and if I can find a way to produce one more um, gray out of all this, then I would get the two generals I need to fire this off and get a, a, a pretty decent chunk of points off of that. So that's definitely getting played. Uh, let's see. The rest of these cards... Uh, don't, uh, yeah, everything else is, uh, kind of a bonus, maybe? Anyway, let, let me, uh, check. I got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then this pair, that would be six pairs, 36 points. Don't need, I don't think I need to play, uh, these two. Uh, this would be nice. Eh, yeah, it's a production thing. I, I basically, if I look at a uh, card and I see production, I'm not going to want anymore. So I'm going to chuck this one. Uh, recycle it for the blue. The blue actually does net me the general I need. Uh, I'm just going to put this guy on here now. Um, so that's blue. I need a gray. The gray would actually get me the last general I need. Um, I lost ways to get the last general, so I'm not worried about that guy. Okay. I do need to find a gray. Uh, I would like to finish gray over here. Uh, I, the game does not provide me with <laughs> any way to discard for gray. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so... Okay, let's discard green over here. Put that right there. Um, actually, you know what? Let's rewind that. Because I still need a place for all the black that I'm generating don't really see any other options. So I might so as opposed to discarding that, I'm just going to leave that. Hopefully I can get a green from somewhere else. Uh, I have yellow and blue here. These are probably not going to get made. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do some diving. I just need I need some gray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really lacking in my gray production. I'm really, uh, it's the one part of my game that I'm a little disappointed in. And uh, not doing better. Ah, there's a lot. There's a lot of disappointment in. <laughs> uh, that's the gray I need. Let's see if there's any other point scoring. Nope, no point scoring opportunities here. That's the, that's a gray that I need. So let's go ahead and discard. Uh, get a gray. Hmm. So I can either try to fill this up, um, uh, yeah, whew, or uh, you know, put kind of complete the packs thing. Uh, I really need uh, more gray to come out of the last pile. Uh, man, that would be that put me in a really sweet position. So, hmm, I'm gonna put it here. At the at, at, at worst comes to worst, I can use my crystal for gray. Uh, so I'm gonna use that. I'm just going to get that guy and finish off that uh, this card will definitely be finished great Come on, great all right excellent not a lot of point scoring I'm not gonna generate a lot of green so that is just a, a pipe dream right there um, yeah let's see and then uh, two discards for gray I'm just gonna discard these two things right now I'm probably not gonna get around to building them two gray is going to be right there. Okay, that's uh, that definitely helped me. Uh, Cause now uh, I have, I need to generate five grays to kind of complete these two cards. Um, right now I'm generating four and then a crystalline would be five. Uh, I think I'm good. And I did complete, I have now completed uh, the world um, resource collector thing. Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, I'm generating plenty of black, and just to check my pair situation, I got five, six, that's getting completed, four, five, uh, not getting a green out of that, oh wait, six, that's, that's getting completed, that is getting completed, so I'm going to have six pairs, so that, that'll be 36 points plus this thing, that's basically going to be my entire scoring. <laughs> I'm just gonna discard these two, uh, two corruption cards. Uh, let's let's dive for some points just to see what happens. 
uh, just explore the game a little bit more. Uh, black, black, and blue. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, three points. Yeah, that's the none of this is gonna work out too well in my favor. Although uh, I do, it, that gives me a little bit of a repository for yellow, yellow that I will produce and nothing will happen with it. But uh, I won't produce the green that I need. I, I actually kind of was hoping for so, uh, a, a yellow thing. Whatever. Let's just go there. Discard those two cards, and then this one just for the um, just for chuckles. Let's give me a black. All right, final production time. I got four grays incoming. So let's just do that first. That completes that. About to get a dump truck full of black. Fantastic. Okay, and then that's two over here. And then I'll use my one crystallum. Uh, and then I have to use the other crystallum to finish this thing. Man, that my game would completely fall apart <laughs> uh, if I didn't have that. So, I can move that over. There you go. Okay. Uh, so that was my gray production. Only four. Did not get a token out of it. Black production. Three, four, five, eight. So then we got three over here, we got two over here, that goes up here. So then uh, three more would go on the card over there. Okay, that was black. Uh, next we got green. Uh, I had one little green, but it is wiped out <laughs> by the corruption. I am an unscientific, even though I'm like a military uh, empire, the green is science, and I'm apparently a massive Luddite attacking all my enemies with clubs uh, because I just don't want to deal with that. <laughs> anyway, um, I should be forced to give one back for so much corruption. That'd be fun. Yellow. So I produce five yellow, a uh, six yellow, actually. Uh, two of which are going to go here, four of which are going to go there. But if I trade this one guy in, that gets me a crystallum, which is okay. Uh, I am going to use those crystallum. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't make sense to actually use this because it wouldn't get me any points. Um, but it does make sense to use it here because it's only worth one point. Uh, but then if I actually use that, it will be three. So let's put that right there. Okay. Uh, and then the last is blue and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would get me another one of these things. I think I, yep, I, I needed one of those things, uh, when I produced there. Uh, so then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then four for you. And then another three, but I'm not gonna take them. Sorry, that's, that's that was four. I'm not gonna take them. I'm actually gonna return those for these two. Another crystallum. Uh, discard these. Okay. Oh, that goes discarded. Sorry about that. And right there. Let's get the final scoring. All right, so I did pretty well. Uh, one thing that I forgot to account for the entire game was that I have this bonus over here. Uh, plus two per um, black. I think I discarded a couple of blacks when I didn't want to. Also, um, I think I forgot it because uh, if you look at the other side and you actually play um, pretty frequently on the other side, you don't get a bonus there. So I just didn't look for it, but whatever. I Good thing I saw it. <laughs> That boosted up my score pretty significantly. So I get a bonus from there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, 6 times 6 is uh, 6 pairs is 36. So 36 plus 12 is 48. Uh, I get a whole bunch of points there. Uh, 6 points there. Uh, 6 items at times 2. That's 60 total. Uh, 64, 65, 68, 70. 72. So 72 is a very, very good score, uh, despite some of my mistakes. 
Uh, so, and also, I fulfilled the condition of the PAX 10. Let's go ahead and read all about what happens. The PAX 10 project has been brought to fruition. Throughout the world, the media are hailing world peace and universalist collaboration. Everyone is talking about the advent of open borders. But in secret, every empire is preparing for the battle to come. All of them are working to shape the future and assert their power. The peace is just a facade because the empires are engaged in an underground war to dominate the world. Glad I did what I did, <laughs> even though the, the warring factions are headed for war anyway. But uh, this would have been even worse. Like if Pax had not been completely failed, you get a different resolution. I'll save that um, for the rest of it. So uh, so the resolution, you, uh, so you put this card away uh, and you actually, or you put the Pax 10 card away and then you actually get those cards that I showed you uh, at the very beginning. Let me go ahead and take those out. So the winner would get this card. This uh, card would stick, stay out. Uh, and twice per game, you could take one of the generals. Generals right there. And uh, convert that to a Crystallum. The losers, uh, and in solo there is no loser, uh, would get this Pax 10 member uh, card. So you're not uh, kind of left out in the cold. Uh, and then that's it. Uh, so you would shuffle up and play again. Uh, play the rest of the missions. I'm not going to disclose uh, what is in the rest of the game, but I think it is super fun. I played it in a night. Uh, it's just easy. Just discard, shuffle up, play again. Uh, really, really fun game. So I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of uh, It's a Wonderful World with the War and Peace expansion and the Corruption and Ascension expansion. Uh, once again, like, subscribe, uh, reach out to us, all the good stuff. <laughs> Uh, that we need to do in order to uh, build this community and uh, continue to outreach to one another and share these awesome games. So this is Jason reminding you, if you could change your mind, you could change the world. So until next time, later everybody.